Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Rob. Today's topic is productivity hacks. Well, that's the broad topic. And in particular, uh, this little time-saving technique that I'm showing you today is this drum sampler that allows you to hot swap on the fly while you're auditioning drum hits. It's called Sitala, and it's a little, basically just a little drum machine. It has a lot of, uh, has a lot of uh, really cool features. As you can see, it has a wave display, but we'll, you'll see that as we're going along. And this is kind of going along with the theme of what I talked about in my last video was the fact that in doing that nine part series of building a start to finish trance track, what it did is it put pressure on me to, as I was doing it live, knowing I was going to be watched and the viewer watching my workflow, it put pressure on me and it revealed some production weaknesses that I have. And, you know, among them are music theory. I need to get more familiar with music theory so that it's not so much of a head scratcher. Uh, I need to learn a handful of favorite instruments and effects. I need to learn them inside and out, you know, like silence, like serum, like uh, diva and some compressors and reverbs. I need to learn all of those inside and out. And just basic DAW workflow is another very important part. And that's what this entails right here, how to get things up and running, get your ideas going. So... And then the other one would be uh, organizing samples into categories, which this could also help with too. What this allows you to do, because obviously you're not going to build a track, whoops, you're not going to build a track with these sounds. So what you can do is you can go in and you can browse your sample library. So let's go here to my, uh, go down here to sample libraries. I like Black Octopus. Octopus. Let's see if this... And let's just pick a kick. All right, so now I've got a kick in there in place of the regular 808 kick. And the nice thing about it, uh, what I'm going to have to do is just build a... Uh, just put some MIDI notes in here. And everything is mapped to C1. So let's go down here to C1. And let's put in some kicks. See where are we at here? Yeah. Okay. So I've got that kick in there, right? And let's just loop this out here. Okay. So I don't like that one. Now, normally I would just have to go back to the list of kicks. But I'm on the kick folder, Leviathan, Black Octopus. It's a great collection of kicks. This little toggle switch down here, these arrows pop up so I can do it on the fly. Watch. So now I'm, it's like I have Ableton. Okay, let's just say I like that one. Another thing that I can do, I can shape it. And I can kill the transient too if I wanted to, depending on the sound. But let's just say I want to shorten this kick up a little bit here, okay? All right, so let's duplicate this and let's go down here and let's, uh, let's just clear this and let's go over here to clap, which I believe is, yes, it's B1 and let's pick a clap. 
right, let's go. In fact, let's just go to load sample, see what happens here. Okay, pulls this up here. Let's go to claps. Pulls up the big menu here. Snares and claps. Okay, let's just open that up. And let's, uh, just going to drag this down here. All right. And then, so I want to get rid of every other one. And then drag these up to where the claps are. So now I've got the beginnings of a beat, but I don't like that clap, so let's keep on going. Okay, so let's say that I like that one right there. All right. So let's just drag this one down. Let's duplicate it. Drag this down. And let's say that I want... So let's just loop all of these. Make those all regions. And then I want to... Let's get rid of... Let's say on this one here, on the one leading up to this clap. So I Okay, so what I can do on that one here is I can go in here and pick another sample. Okay, now what I can do with that, you it allows like I showed you, you can shape so I'm going to take the transient off this one. I'm going to slide it over like so. See how that sounds. So you can do little tricks like that. Okay, so let's uh, let's duplicate and we'll copy this down. All right, so that's the clap, both of these. Shorten them down. Whoops. Select them all, shorten them down. And let's take them all, select them all, take them down to the The closed hat. All right. All right. So I want to go to closed hat. And so what I want to do here again is browse samples or load sample. Okay, let's go back to closed hats. Now let's pick a closed hat. Let's see that open that yet. No, not yet. Now let's pick a closed hat. All right. See, that one's pretty good. Put a little swing on that. Swing on here. Let's see here. Okay, so. Okay, so you can also tune here. So let's go to the kick here. Say I wanted to bring it down a little bit. Make it a little bit meatier. And let's just say on the clap, I want to bring it up a little bit. But I want to change the tone. Which actually, I'm still on the kick here, so. And 
Okay. Okay, so let's go down to the clap. I don't necessarily want to bring that up, but let's change the tone. All right. Bring that down a little bit here. And then maybe I want to take a little bit off the front of that clap. So I've just really have been playing around with this today and already I've got uh, a pretty good handle on it. It's sped up my workflow. I've uh, flown right through picking out a kick, a clap, some uh, closed hats and a kind of a half baked reverse. And you know, they're, it's limited only by your creativity if you want to do stuff like that. so. I, you know, it probably, it's got a little bit different sound than a just reverse clap. So it needs maybe a little fine tuning. Let's pull this up here. Let's take the tone. Let's get, see how we, So the let me show you the uh, it's free by the way. Citala is the name of it. It's decomposer. It's out of Germany. I will include the uh, link in the description of this video. And I hope you uh, think that this will help you out as much as I think it'll help me. Thank you very much for watching. That's about it. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye. Thank you.